so welcome back to my channel. Today I have the inaugural episode of Anime Gains. Look at how cool this jumper is. Seriously, this is one of my favorite jumpers now. Anyway, so this is going to be my pickups video for all the anime I brought in May 2017. Let's get into it. First I'm going to do the DVDs. I went to JB Hi-Fi and I got a 2 for 30 deal on Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 1. And Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 2. Roadshow Entertainment released these and before, prior to these, Yu-Gi-Oh! had never been released in its entirety. Um, the original series, they'd only been released up to about Season 3, I believe, in Australia that is. And so yeah, prior to these, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! had never been released all the way up to Season 5. I've been watching through Yu-Gi-Oh! and I'm on my last three episodes now. So, I knew that these first two seasons were out, but, um, yeah, Rocho have actually released the third and fourth seasons of Yu-Gi-Oh! 2, which is really unsurprised, like, really surprising, sorry, because they did pretty much no advertisement for it at all. And, yeah, it's just I walked into a store and all of a sudden, there they were, new releases, and I knew nothing about it, so, because I thought that these were released a fair few years ago, 2014, I want to say. And um, I thought that they mustn't have sold well, so they weren't going to continue re releasing the series, but yeah, they are. So I don't think Season 5 is out, but I'm hoping Season 5 is going to come out um, fairly soon. So, hmm, great to see those releases and picking them up for 15 bucks each is a great price. Next, I have Sengoku Basara Samurai Kings Season 2 Collection. This is on DVD. I would have preferred to have bought this on Blu-ray, but... I saw it for five dollars, brand new and sealed, and for that price I couldn't pass it up. The first season of Sengoku Basara was one of my favorite seasons of anime ever. I just really love um, the feudal Japan setting, the fact that it was based on the video games, uh, which I've never played actually, but the, the hack and slash series of video games, similar like Dynasty Warriors, I loved all the characters and all their crazy power-ups and the fact that they're just overpowered to the to the shit I was like taking on like a thousand men at once. Uh, all the different rivalries, all the different factions of, you know, soldiers warring against each other. You have samurai, you have ninjas, you have just crazy weapons, horsemen, stuff like that. So it's a lot of fun. I can't wait to check out the second season. I'm probably going to wait to till I buy the Blu-ray to check it out. But for $5, I couldn't pass that up. And the next one I have is a very old series. This is Gungrave. This is the collector's box set. This is pretty... Uh, I wouldn't say it's um, that rare, but it pops up pretty irregularly on uh, eBay and stuff like that. And what's really special, first of all, I love this artwork. If you can see, it has like a manga kind of artwork to it. And um, all the characters kind of pop out, which is really, really cool. So, yeah, it has volumes 1 through to... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one through seven volumes. And what's really cool about these volumes is I'm not sure how well this is going to pick up on the camera, but these are actually the foil slicks. So these are uh, shiny covers. Basically, they produce two different covers. They produce the normal cover and the foil variant covers, which um, I'm not sure how far they went with these, but... What's kind of annoying is this box set only has foils up to volume 5, which I would have preferred they were all foil. I'm not sure if they did release them all foil. If you know anything about that, be sure to let me know. But yeah, volume 6 and 7 are not foil in this box set, so I'll be looking at seeing if I can pick them up in foils, and if they're not, I don't know, I just think why would they have not stuck with that, but... Yeah, Gungrave, a pretty old school anime based on a PS2 game, which had, you know, it had a little bit of success, I suppose. I never played it. There's actually a couple of PS2 games, so pretty rare for a anime to be based on a video game, unless it's like a visual novel or something like that, but Gungrave was not. Gungrave, from what I understood, was an action, an action video game. Um, so yeah, these two are not the foils. But definitely 
a welcome addition to my collector's uh, box set. Uh, my box set collection. Now we're going to jump into the Blu-rays. This is Naruto Shippuden, the movie, The Lost Tower. I've seen very small handful of the original Naruto, uh, but from what I've seen, I really, really enjoyed it. It's definitely like, definitely a step up from Dragon Ball Z in terms of shonen. My favorite shonen, well not my favorite, but the one I got addicted to the most was actually Fairy Tale. Now I know that might be a kind of controversial statement, but Fairy Tale, I just, it was just so, it's just everything I wanted. I really just can let my mind kind of go, let my review of mine go and just kind of watch it for what it is and really enjoy all the action and the etchy and just everything like that. But yeah, Naruto, uh, ship it in one of the movies on Blu-ray, $8 sealed. This is one I was really excited to find already on Blu-ray, uh, on Blu-ray, excuse my speech impediment, $5 sealed. Uh, this is a Ghibli film and this is based on the borrowers. Uh, a Western uh, story and yeah this is Ghibli's version of that so out of all the Ghibli films I think I mentioned in one of the other videos already it was one that I wanted to see the most out of any of them it really just the story of little people kind of borrowing different things from you know the the giant humans or the regular humans and kind of building a little house and and like every little thing is dangerous like beetles and, and insects and the cat and stuff like that presents dangers to them and yeah, just uh, eventually, obviously, this girl gets discovered by a boy, and yeah, the kind of the story unfolds from there. So, I'm I'm super excited to have that on Blu-ray now. My Ariadne collection is pretty much complete. I have the foil uh, slipcase variant. I have the Blu-ray, so I'll be opening that up and watching that one, and super excited for that. Another controversial statement, which uh, one of my favorite anime from when did it come out? 2014. Pretty sure 2014, um, I freaking love this anime. It was amazing. It was just like another one of those super entertaining uh, action, what would you call it? I guess a shonen series, just like full of gore, full of ecchi, freaking balls to the wall. The, the animation was on point. I freaking loved it. The voice acting was amazing. To me, the characters were entertaining. It was shallow, if but... It was freaking entertainment factor to the max. And that is Akame Ga Kill. Akame Ga Kill to me was a freaking masterpiece. I loved Akame Ga Kill. Not because of the story, just because of the entertainment value, the action, the freaking gore, all the stuff I mentioned before. I'm not going to do any spoilers, but the only bad thing about Akame Ga Kill, the thing that really kind of I did not like um, was the ending. So they kind of took on this whole, well, I'm not going to spoil it, but let's just say a lot of characters are killed off and by the end, there's not a whole lot of people left. So, Akame Ga Kill, I freaking really enjoyed it. This is the first collection, part one from Hanabi. Uh, there are limited edition ones of it, which I'll also be interested in picking up, but to have this on Blu-ray, definitely uh, going to rewatch this sometime in the future. I'll be interested in checking out, sorry, I'll be... Definitely interested in picking up Collection 2 as well. I can't say that everyone's going to like Akame Ga Kill, but for me personally, it's one of those anime that I freaking love. And it's so memorable to me. Final thing I have I've been after for a while, I it's another one of those pretty early anime I started watching when I really started getting into it. I was watching it on the DVDs and yeah, I just got to the point where I was over halfway and I don't know what happened. I kind of just went on to new things and I... F I kind of just forgot about it and never went back to it. So now is the perfect time to go back to it. And that is Durarara. This is the uh, collector's box of the Blu-ray sets from Siren Visual. So yeah, I've been after this uh, collector's box for a fair while so I can watch it in Blu-ray, in full HD, everything like that. Here is collection one of Durarara. Durarara is... Uh, I think it's set in the same universe as Bakano, I'm not really sure, or something like that, but yeah, it's just, it's one of those anime that has a crazy, you know, cast of characters, and the story doesn't really stay linear and follow one uh, set of characters, it kind of just jumbles up from all different characters' perspective, or all different characters' point of views, and the timeline goes all over the place, and at times it's kind of hard to follow, but it kind of 
fills you in on stuff as it goes along. It kind of pieces all these different kind of intertwining storylines together by the end of it. However, I haven't seen the end of it. The most interesting character to me is definitely the bartender. I forget what his name is, but he has super strength and it's a long time since I've seen this anime, but yeah, just the fact that he had super strength and he's always swearing and smoking and he's kind of a, he's a debt collector and stuff like that. So he was, he was a, a standout to me. Um, there's, there's crazy things going on in this series. There's a, a motorcycle rider without a head. There's, you know, a Russian African American sushi salesman. There's a, there's a bunch of crazy stuff in this. Definitely one of the most unique anime out there but really any anime is really unique so anyway really excited to have this in my collection and really started really excited to get back and watch all of Durarara. it's one of those ones that have been on hold for seriously like two years or something like that so especially excited to finish it the second uh these are hardly watched the second volume is sealed and the first one's hardly watched so anyway guys, one final look at all the anime I brought here. This is the first episode of Anime Games. Look forward to next month's episode. I've definitely, I've got, to put it in perspective, I bought like more than this, probably like twice as much of this, but I bought it later on in the month and it hasn't come yet. So that'll be, that'll be in the next video. That'll be in Anime Games Part 2, <laughs> Episode 2 in Ju uh, June's edition. So look forward to that. Stay tuned to my channel, say subscribed, uh, subscribe if you haven't already for more anime content, more video game content. There's a lot of content coming soon. I've uh, got a little bit more free time. I apologize for the lack of videos. So anyway guys, until then, see you later.